Hello there, traveler. I am Leonardo McClellan, one of the Clan McClellan. And I bring to you some of the amazing tales that I gathered through my travels. So please. <clears throat> Stay a while and listen. Relax, Sopolis. It was another cold winter day in Monstropolis. Sally and Mike were on their way to work when Mike let out a sigh. What happened, little buddy? Sally asked him. I'm tired of winter, Mike replied. It is always cold, windy, and the day gets dark for a moment. Sally, I think I have winter depression. It is what it looks like, Sally said. But in a month or so, winter will end. Mike let out another long sigh. Another winter month seemed like an eternity. But a smile appeared on his face when he looked it up and saw an advertisement. On the huge sign was a pink monster sitting on a beach chair wearing sunglasses and drinking what looked like a cold muddy drink. In large letters said, Escape the cold winter days in Rylaxopolis. Mike stopped halfway and grabbed Sully by the arm. He pointed to the sign, but he was so euphoric that he could barely say a word. It is a great idea, Sully said. A week on a tropical island is exactly what we need. As soon as they got to work, Mike filled out the forms for the vacation. The next morning, they were on their way to Relaxopolis. As soon as they arrived, they didn't even unpack. They went to the beach, where they asked for a cold, muddy drink for each one. As they rested on the beach chairs, Mike said, This is the life. Believe me, said Sully. But don't you think it would be good to apply some sunscreen to protect us from the sun? You better be careful. You don't want to be on fire the first day. I'm just going to enjoy it. the sun a little longer, said Mike Please, My winter depression is melting with all this sun. Mike put on his sunglasses and crossed his arms over his head. That was paradise. After a while, Sully got tired of sunbathing and decided to take a dip. Then he played a little beach monster ball. Then, then he let some monster skids bury him on the sand up to his neck. Two hours later, he returned to the beachers, where Mike slept peacefully. Sully took a close look. His little green friend hadn't changed his position since he left. Mike was all red from the sun. Sully curved Mike with a towel and ran to buy his friend a cold muddy drink. When he returned to the chairs, Mike was waking up. Hey buddy, said Sully, I think you are a little ripe, huh? Mike looked sleepily at Sully without understanding. Now you are not green anymore, Sully explained it. It's passion red. That is all for today, but there are always more amazing tales to tell. Before I leave, do not forget, first of all, if you're not part of the clan, hit the subscribe button to be part of it. Second, hit as well the like button to let you to be know that these tales must reach others. That way, you can help spread them to the four corners of the realm. And thirdly, ring the bell icon so you can be notified of new tales to listen. Until then, may the gods of old guide thee on thy path. That's it.